Okay, let me show you guys what I've bought so far. Uh, I got a couple of things that I guess is just something that you're going to need. These are for sure items that you're going to need. You need the leather preparer and deglazer. I don't know if you guys are getting a good, hopefully the camera is focusing in on that. Uh, this is what you use to wipe off the glaze that come on the uh, shoes. Uh, so your paint will actually stick to the shoe. So you're going to absolutely need this. I chose the matte finisher just because I think this is about the most I would think I would want any of my shoes to shine out. And this is not, it says matte finisher, but as far as uh, through my research, this is not really that matte. It's like, it's a little shiny, but it's not crazy shiny. And I think this is about as far as I want to go with shine or sheen on my shoes. So I choose the matte. I think I probably would just go with this anyway. Uh, I have duller. Just like I said, I'm not a big fan of. <laughs> A shiny shoe so I'm uh, you know if I need to use this in some of the paint um, I will you know so I have dollar for and I also want to do a pair of the Air Force Ones uh, with the black mat so I'm gonna need this for sure that's exactly what the dollar I guess it is the name says what it does so it actually dulls the paint uh, I bought some too thin uh, this is just for uh, to make it, uh, you know, more, a little more fluid for your airbrush. If you want to airbrush, you don't have to use the airbrush for any of these paints. But if you are, sometimes you might need to use this. Or you know, it just depends on the consistency of the paint. Just you know, use your best, your best judgment. But add a little bit of this to make it just go flow right through the airbrush. Uh, Okay, as far as the colors, hold on, let me see if there's anything else. Oh, I bought some Soul Bright. You know, because you know how the uh, clear bottoms of the Jordan, or well, whatever shoe, you can just clear them back up with this. Well, supposedly you could clear them back up with this. I have another little secret ingredient that I'm going to put with this to see if they work a little better. I may have come up with the master solution, but I'm going to try it out anyway. In my next video, I'm going to uh, start trying to restore my fives, my Jordan fives, so I'm going to probably clean them up, you know, apply this stuff, let you guys see that, and so the next video after that will just be the masking and actually painting, uh, restoring the white on them. Okay, so we got that. I have Angelus Easy Cleaner, which I just wanted to try it out, actually. I don't think I really, this is something I wouldn't say that you probably actually need, but... I just wanted to try it out to see was you know was it really that good or whatever. Uh, I have GAC 900 fab fabric painting medium. Uh, this is I think you need this if you're going. To, well, that's a, I guess it's a difference. Like uh, with the Jacquard products, I guess their paint is more like uh, it comes with all this stuff in it. Like it's already a heat setting paint. Like if, at 300 degrees, it sets anyway. These paints, I think you need to put this in here. Well, I've seen some people use water with those paints and paint um, um, fabric, the inside of shoes and stuff like that. But I don't know how. I think this right here is just make it more of a a, a a solid application, so you won't have to really worry about you know. I think you just mix it with the paint, you know, apply it to the shoe, let it dry a little bit. Once it's a little dry to touch, he said it, 300 degrees. With your heating gun, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But that's the process as far as I know. Like I said, we're going to learn together, so we'll see. Whenever I do it, you will see it, and I'll you know, show you exactly what I'm doing. So we got that out of the way. That's all this stuff, so we can go over that again. I got uh, leather preparing the glazer. I have easy cleaner, just some soapy solution, I'm thinking. Just probably just whatever cleaner. Too thin for your airbrush. Uh, your airbrush needs to mix with paints to make it thinner for the airbrush. I have matte finisher to, to finish off the shoe once I'm finished painting it. I have fabric fabric medium, medium uh, to paint the inside of shoes. I have so bright for the for the clear bottoms of shoes to bring them back white instead of you know how to yellow. And I oh I have. Angelus water stain and repellent. This stuff seems to work pretty good as far as on the videos I've seen, so you might want to grab your can of that 
or whatever kind of stain or repellent you want to buy but you know I just want to go ahead and grab some because this is made for what the hell I'm trying to you know do uh what else did I get from Angelus well I bought a although I have a bunch of exacto knives already because I do uh, custom t-shirts on the side so I already have a bunch of exacto I thought this was pretty cool with the little finger deal you know you can get pretty pretty detailed in your cutting if you got something right in your finger like that you know you can get down in there you know uh what else I buy oh I have uh Princeton art brushes hey Princeton you know those are good art brushes they always well that name has always been like a good art art brush I mean even if you were just painting like on canvas or something I bought some extra little uh deals from Walmart because they had a pretty good deal on them they made by folk art I don't know how good they are but they're a bunch of fine detail brushes I bought this from Walmart I don't think they even cost it might have even they might not even cost five bucks I don't know it might have been like four bucks maybe got a cleaning brush with the Angelus brand on there looking real slick uh what else I bought some cease decrease <laughs> the original decreaser I bought a, a, a pack of those there's only I think it's, yeah, it's only two of them in here so it's just like the one sh one set of shoes uh let me put this down here okay let me show you my colors for the colors I have flat white I guess I don't have to spend a lot of time on the colors but that's what they are you know just whatever oh then I did I showed you guys the dollar this is for you know to what is, what is a loss reducer for leather paint so it's just the Badola paint, so you won't be too shiny. Okay, well, like I did for the color. Uh, let's go back over this for the colors. It was flat white, green. I'm a green fan. Light green. I got flat black. I got orange. I have scarlet red. I don't know why I didn't buy the infrared red, but whatever. I have a buttercup yellow. And I have sapphire blue. This is so far for paint. Okay, so what else do I have? Well, the obvious stuff is sitting back there. I bought a Wagner Heat 1000 heat tool. It only has two. This was kind of confusing. I don't really, you know, a lot of the tutorials always tell you heat, you know, heat set material your uh, fabrics at 300 degrees, and I'm like 750 and a thousand. Like, really? But I guess it's like a. It, to me, I would rather have it at 750 because then I could just wave it around. I'm knowing that it's going to get to 300 pretty quick. It's not like if I had a gun that said 300, then you know you might have to sit there for a while. Blah blah blah, whatever. But this is what I bought. It was pretty decent on the price, maybe 30 bucks, 40 bucks. I don't, even, I don't remember. It was like 40 bucks, I think. Uh, what else did I get? I got an airbrush and compressor from these guys, uh, Master Airbrush. Which I might end up ordering another airbrush. The compressor is fine, but this airbrush, I didn't pay this much for this little system. I think it was a little bit over a hundred bucks. It might not even be. It might have been like a hundred and ten, maybe, hundred and twenty or something like that. So I'm not having a lot of faith in this airbrush. But at the same time, I'm a beginner, so I used to do this a long time ago, like with T-shirts and stuff like this. But it's been still, to me, it got a little out of style to wear that stuff so i, I don't uh, you know we'll see we'll see how that go but that's the little compressor that comes with it it's pretty decent i turned it on it's pretty quiet has a little safety you know just turns off when you're not using it and blah 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 so i have the airbrush and the compressor the heat to the paint the other materials i bought these little jars just to mix paint up in or whatever you know these are just i think these don't even cost i don't even remember how much these cost they were pretty cheap, whatever it was. Probably 99 cents or something. Uh, what else did I buy? Okay, my Walmart stuff was... I bought ivory uh, uh, soap to clean my shoes. Just because I think I need to have some type of either white or clear cleaner. Like, I, my dishwashing soap is like blue. But I don't want to like wash my white shoes with blue soap. Because it, I think it has a lot of little tints and dyes in it that might end up getting to your fabric and your and you know all your uh it gives your shoe like a little a light blue hue and i don't want to have any hues or any different 
color, so I want to stay with something either clear or white as far as the soap. Uh, and I, then I bought some like a, a alcohol because you actually can make your own airbrush cleaner solution. I don't know if you guys know that. That's a old school way of making a, of a airbrush cleaner. You 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 put one part water, one part ninety one percent. It needs to be ninety one percent alcohol. Ninety one percent alcohol, one part. Uh, water and a couple of drops of soap shake it up and you pretty much got your airbrush clean You couldn't just use straight alcohol because you might dry you might dry out your little o-rings or whatever else might be in there So you mix that those two the well, you mix this with the one part alcohol 91% alcohol one part water Maybe three or four maybe three or four drops of soap Five drops whatever just don't go overboard with the soap shake it up in a little uh, I have these little bottles with spouts on them that just makes it easy to clean the airbrush out and it works like a charm. I bought some plastic wrap so when I uh uh you know when I put when I apply my soul bright and my little secret secret uh ingredient to my soles you want to wrap them up with the with the uh, plastic wrap. And and some people set them out in the sunlight cuz I guess the sunlight does some sort of whatever. But whatever we're gonna I'm gonna end up just I'm just gonna apply it and let it sit I might do one or two applications you know rinse it off do it again until I get the desired result you know uh, I bought this because I thought it was pretty cool the little the little spongy deals they use for the uh, galaxy customs these are pretty cool man you put your paint in here and you just like you know do the little spongy effect for your little graphics I had to buy this, you know, it's corny. It's kind of corny to me because you probably could just buy a sponge and like uh, cut it up or do whatever. But I just thought this was pretty cool to have a little, a little spongy deal. So and it was cheap. It was, didn't cost much at all. And I bought me some uh, some, la some lace anglets. One of these is like the bullet deal. You, could t you probably can't see that. One of them is flat and the other one is rounded. One's called a cylinder and one's called a bullet. I don't know which one is called which, but you see they give you a little super glue with it and stuff like this. Uh, what else I have? A big ass bag of cotton balls. You're going to use these for your leather preparing, the glazer, right? You're going to use this, you know, soak up one of your little cotton balls. You know, keep using however many cotton balls you need to make sure you're not just spreading around whatever glaze was on the shoe already because I know a lot of people probably do that they just get one cotton ball put a little bit of this on there and just try to wipe the whole shoe down but you eventually just start wiping and moving around whatever glaze was on the shoe so you want to you know use one cotton ball wipe up an area throw that cotton ball away get another cotton ball wipe up so you just so you can make sure you actually preparing the shoe for the paint because it could cost uh, adhesion problems but anyway big bag of cotton balls 200 count oh, I think this didn't cost it might have been I don't even maybe a dollar fifty maybe okay for tape I bought they had these on sale man I couldn't you couldn't beat it I bought a big uh, clean release uh, clean release tape <laughs> Uh, I bought some blue painters tape. I think this was on sale too. And then this is regular general purpose masking tape. I probably end up using going more lean and more toward these because this, if it's not on sale, this one, gee, but boy, these these get they get up there. This one that's more expensive than this. I can't even think of the name of it. It's like ten bucks. And I'm like, it's not that fucking serious, not just for tape. So I might just end up leaning more toward it. And plus, I seen a pack of these at Menards, like 12 in a bundle for like 10 bucks. I'm like, oh, that's why most likely I'm going to end up going toward that. Because 12, 12 of those should be pretty decent. So I think that's about it. Is that it? I think that's about it, fellas, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I have a, a couple things coming from Jacquard. I have... Uh, I forget the, the colors and I, and I think one more thing that I want to buy is adhesion promoter or some sort of clear primer for uh, the plastic 
tabs on your shoes. I don't. That's another thing. I, I didn't really. I need to probably uh, message somebody on the YouTube channel or Instagram and ask them what do they do about the plastic tabs. I think a lot of them just paint over it because you probably could just paint and just put more than one layer and it probably would stick. But I, I think uh, some sort of adhesion promoter would probably be a better, uh, more solid application. But anyway, that's what I have right now. So. My next video, hope I hope that I'll be able to. I'm going. I'm going to start cleaning the shoes, apply the sole by stuff, blah blah blah, and then we get the mask and, and paint. But in the meantime, you guys, let's do way less stressing and get way more blessing. This is your boy Dino. Peace out.